K Black Boston coming to you another video. Well, tomorrow we got a double header. We got Sean Porter versus Adrian Granados for the WBC uh, silver title for whatever that's worth. Basically, the winner is the number one contender of uh, of Keith Thurman. Well, you know what? I know if Sean Porter's number one contender. I say that. I don't know if Granados win or not. If if he would be elevated to the number one contender. But as of right now, Sean Porter's the number one contender. Then we got the heavyweight. We got the heavyweights going at it. Stavern versus Wilder, part two. Right out the gate, man. Porter and Wilder is going to win a fight. You know what I mean? Just flat out. Uh, I, I really don't have to, have to do a breakdown. You know what I mean? But I just say this. Granados is a... Hard nosed, tough fighter. They move, they come forward, you know. And when he fought Adrian Brown, a lot of people believe he beat Adrian Brown, by the way. When he fought Adrian Brown, he did move forward and he do he did do that, you know, uh, pressure style. But he also boxed. And he, he actually didn't do that bad boxing against Adrian Brown. You know, in my opinion, if he wanted to win a fight, that would probably be the best thing he could try to do, try to utilize his boxing uh, ability versus Sean Porter. Because we all know what Sean Porter does. He moves forward. He don't have – he don't go back. He uh, crowds – he crowds your space. He fight on the inside. And he utilizes his strengths to the best of his ability, you know. A lot of people are not a big fan of Sean Porter. Neither am I. I'm not be totally honest, but – I call a spade a spade. I believe it's gonna be uh, I believe it's gonna be a tough ass fight for both of them. Meaning because on the paper, out of the way they fight, moving forward, not taking a step back. And so on the paper, it it, it looks like it's gonna be one of those knock out, knock out, drag out type of fight, and it could potentially be that way. But anyway, um, I just see, and it could be you know whoever can impose their will. Are their skills uh, better? I just believe Sean Porter's gonna impose his uh, his will and his skill a whole lot better, man. And this fight not gonna go. It's not going to distance. I see a six rounds. I see six rounds or less type of fight, man. Uh, I just think Sean Porter gonna steamroll this dude. He gonna put up a good effort. Don't get me wrong, but I believe uh, Sean Porter's skills. I mean, not his skills, but he he the natural welterweight. He's gonna blow through him, man. At the venture, at, you know that's how it's gonna go. Uh, so I got Porter in, in his bout. Wilder, what's going to happen? Stavern, man, listen, he have not fought in over two years or close to it. You know what I mean? I know when they first fought, Deontay Wilder beat him. He went to distance. He really knocked him down. Referee Tony Weeks, I think that was the referee that ref that ref that fight. He didn't call it. He didn't call it. You know, Deontay Wilder hit him with a barrage of punches. Then he he grabbed Deontay Wilder, knocked him down to the ground. As Deontay Wilder got up, Stavern was trying to get up, and he fell back down. He was really he was knocked down, okay? Um, and since then, I think he, he was like, he was out of the ring for like nine months. Then he fought somebody. You know, he won in a, a less than stellar performance. I think he even got knocked down in that fight. And since then, Wilder has fought at least five times. He Even though he has uh, he broken his hand, even... Uh, towards bicep, he still has been active. He's been in the ring five different occasions. This is six fights since he fought Stavern, and this is Stavern only second fight. So that activity alone is going to beat this guy. Then he came, uh, what, 254 pounds? Like, come on, man. He basically weighed the same thing as Anthony Joshua. But the difference is Anthony Joshua, he's about, uh, he's taller, and uh, even though he, 254 is too big for him. I'm just being totally honest. And he's taller, and he was cut up with it. So imagine this dude who's, who fucking look, who's stocky, who look like the fucking dude. Come on, man. He look pudgy as hell. Man, it's no way he's going to beat Deontay Wilder, man. The only thing he's going to do is, like, the first fight, try to land, land counters and land something over the top with his right hand. And... He did hit Wilder with some of the right with some of those right hands in the first fight, but a lot of times Deontay Wilder was able to step away from the punch and also roll with the punch, so it didn't even uh, it it wasn't as effective as some people may think. 
you know, and Deontay Wilder jabbed him and hit him with straight right hands all night. In this particular fight, man, what's going to happen, Severn going to roll out of steam by the third, fourth round because he only gonna, he's, he, he's going to swing for the fence. I know he's pumping himself up. He's going to act like he's so, so tough and so all oh, I want to whoop on, I want to kill him and all that. But th- the thing is, this is your execution. Bermer and Severn, you act like I've been sitting from the jump. You are actually going to the funeral home after this fight. You know, it's going to be R.I.P. Stavern after this fight. You are going to get knocked out. You're going to be unconscious. It's not going to, and I see you getting knocked out seventh or eighth round, brother. And this is the truth. You know, and uh, you got you got a payday for step aside money when uh, Luis Ortiz is supposed to fight Wilder. I'm still upset about that. I, I truly wish it was Wilder and Ortiz going back and forward, looking at one another like that. It had been cool with me. But Ortiz fucked up. He's suspended. We don't even know when it's because, you know, he's 36 going on 70. So we don't know when we're going to see him ever again anyway, man. So, uh, so I see Deontay Wilder knocking out Stavern, man. Uh, it's nothing else that he can't do. He did everything he did in the first fight. He, he run by a landslide. So the only thing he can do to close his chapter and close Bermain Stavern mouth is to knock him out, and I see it happen. And I see Stavern rolling out of steam by the third or fourth round. Then I see Wilder just coming on strong and eventually knocking him out. Man, it's K-Black Boston signing out. Like, comment, subscribe.